This is the Big Mac from 2020. This is a Big Mac from 2024. Four year difference, but same size, same material, and this one cost $1.69 more. Why? The easy answer is inflation, but there are two deeper reasons they are hiding from you, and one of them is because of your phone. Fast food that was once cheap and affordable is now unaffordable. And it's not just McDonald's, Burger King, Pizza Hut, Wendy's, even Starbucks, they all are part of this. Let's dive into why your favorite fast food is no longer an affordable treat as it used to be. Okay, firstly, what is inflation? We are not economists. It is increased in price of products and services because there is a fall in the purchasing value of money. As we all know, the world was in a pandemic. Inflation was expected to come. But this much for fast food industry? Something is not right. For everything, the prices went up. Economists report that the overall inflation is 19%. Companies need to pay to produce, distribute, and market the product. The cost of packaging ingredients is increased. Between 2022 and 2023, the material cost has gone up by 11%. Workers' wages also increased. Not so long ago, the government of California passed a law which made all fast food workers in California have $20 per hour minimum wage. This is just for California, but all salaries went up 5%. We can conclude that the cost of production went up. So must the price of the product to cover everything and make profit. So the alternative to fast food is healthy food, organic food. Inflation damages every industry. If fast food prices went up, so must healthy food prices. Fast food prices have gone up by 33% from 2019 and healthy food prices just 26% from the same year. The prices for healthy food didn't increase as much as they did for fast food. What if we looked at restaurants directly? If we look at CPI, which stands for Customer Price Index, a tool that allows us to measure prices over time, we can see that fast food prices have grown faster than restaurant prices. Something is still not right. The average order for fast food products is now $18. If you're really hungry and want to order free fish collets from McDonald's, that would cost you $17. And if you want to order a cup of coffee to wake you up and start your day, it will cost you $7. This is really expensive because the average resident of the US makes $56,000 in a year. The Big Mac in 1978 was 90 cents. If we adjust the inflation, that would be $4.09 today. But it's $6.59 today. So it can't be just inflation. Usually, the net profit margins from McDonald's are stagnated, but lately, their profit margins skyrocketed. Not just them, Chipotle's net profit margin is all-time high. Corporations are raking in record profits by increasing their prices, while they tell people it's because of wage increases and the pandemic. People like to order in. If you want to stay in and want to watch movies and order food, delivery apps will put millions of small fees that will damage your wallet. But hey, the truth is, everything is more expensive. Let's say that if you today are making $18 per hour, but before the pandemic, you made $14. Making that $14, then it's better than making $18 now, because it was worth more. Yet all these reasons that we mentioned isn't the real reason why fast food is so expensive. I want you to do something. Pause this video for a few seconds and think of how many fast food loyalty apps do you have? For you 10 people who saw this video, the chances of you having one fast food loyalty app is pretty high. I mean, why wouldn't you have it? These loyalty apps are amazing. They offer you free stuff, discounts, happy hours, amazing deals, and much more. They give you a lot, but you never thought what the companies get from you. McDonald's and Wendy's poured millions of dollars into their apps and will pour more. Wendy plans to invest $50 million to enhance its mobile app. McDonald's announced plans to expand its loyalty program from 150 million users to 250 million active day users by 2027. Why do they want more users? Aren't they losing money because of these deals that they offer you in the loyalty apps? 49% of Americans open one app on the average 11 times per day. For my generation, which is Generation Z, by the way, it's much more. Loyalty apps have millions of downloads. For example, the McDonald's app was downloaded more than 4 billion times in the July of 2022. 
The rest of the guys in top 5 were Starbucks, Domino's, Sonic and Chick-fil-A. These loyalty apps are amazing for these companies. They can predict what you will eat. Let's say one Monday, you want to get a Big Mac. You use the coupon on the app. You also got thirsty and got a Coke in the store. You spend more than you wanted. Next Monday, you hang out with your friends and decided to use the discount coupon on the Big Mac and get another soda. Now on the third Monday, McDonald's could predict that you will come and get a Big Mac. And if you don't get it on that Monday, next week they can lure you in. They could offer you a free Big Mac and they know that you will buy a soda. From that, they will need less stuff because they would predict when people would come. Also, they make you to use the app. Let's look at our favorite example, McDonald's. Using the app, you can get McDouble, six nuggets, french fries, and a large drink for $6. The same price of that without the app would be $15. Crazy, right? And when you spend money, you get loyalty points that you could use to get coupons and get cheaper items and spend more money. This is the genius circle. But remember, this is only the beginning. I think that companies will focus a lot more in these loyalty apps in future. I mean every company in the modern times wants to predict your actions and needs. That's how their algorithm works. Maybe they will add ads that you need to watch if you want to use a discount code or maybe add some kind of subscription. Maybe a monthly subscription like Spotify and YouTube has where they don't show you ads. But anyways, prices won't go down. It is what it is. There is still a demand for it. They increase the prices, people still come and pay for it. Someone did the math and determined they will make more money in the long run with more expensive items. Will that work? We will see in future. McDonald's said that they will stop free refills of the sodas, but that's just a rumor. Maybe if they stop free refills, the prices will go down because they are saving money. We will see.